Hi, I'm Dr. Sam. I want to talk about intuition. What is intuition? Intuition is an extremely powerful ability to sense way beyond your five sensorial gates. Intuition is the reason why there are incredible discoveries in science, in the arts, in behavioral, in uh, criminal uh, law enforcement cases that, are get, that get cracked. Intuition is what you and I should focus on in our lives. Some say that intuition is focused more on right brain, where the right brain is random, creative, and uh, uh, floats around there, and you combine different things that are not necessarily connected to each other, and you create new things. And because the right brain, as some neurocognitive scientists say, uh, they believe, some of them at least believe, that the right brain is associated with emotional, affective parts of you. Then you have the left brain. The left brain, which is analytical, mathematical, procedural, boxy, looks for patterns and designs, okay? And so people who are more left brain have a problem being intuitive. Now, it doesn't mean they can't be intuitive and they don't have it. It just needs to be developed. Our society is very problematic on this because we've been trained since little to give utmost importance to reason and to totally ignore our feelings and what we sense. Little do they know that usually one of the first things that you, you, you go through in a discovery is sensing something. Did you notice that word sensing like in the five emo, uh, components of your feelings, like your tactile, visual, auditory, uh, you know, the five uh, sensorial gates. And so Latin, the Latin for intuitive is intuere, which means to know something very deeply within yourself as you contemplate, as you think, as you focus, okay? And it's like illumination. And so intuition, intuition is very powerful. Uh, some have said that it's your apparatus, it's the way that you touch, you communicate, you connect with truth in your environment and you sense. Some who are spiritual connected with a uh, understanding consciousness on a divine level and other people and that your intuition senses people. This like you can be around a person, you sense if they're sad, you sense if they're angry, you sense if they're evil. You sense that they're good and compassionate, and that's our intuition. And so you're sensing the presence and the consciousness of another being around you. And so those, like the mystics, they've, they've connected their intuition with divinity, okay? So one of the things our society has done is that it says intuition is your gut feeling. And sometimes it's on right, it's right, and sometimes it's not. I would dare say that most of the time intuition is right on target. The, the more specific you are, the more precise you are in wondering what are your questions about the situation. You get intuitive responses that are very precise and very accurate. And so uh, the intuitions are, they, reg they register in your body, they're somatic. You feel it in your body, an intuition, an intuitive response. Intuitions are emotional in nature. You sense something emotionally in you. It's affective. It usually will always have an affective component to it, okay? Intuitions relate to positive or negative things that you sense. Like I said, I personally believe it's a, it's a form of sensing truth in your environment and in people and in yourself and in divinity okay and so also intuition is like that you get these flashes uh, there's a famous book by that goes by the title blink that the author says that we get these flashes well I believe that you don't have to just get flashes you could 24 7 tune in to this mode of intuition I do it in my own private practice I do it to analyze people to find traumas to connect with people find out what's going on, what's our subconscious agendas that people have. And so intuition is immediate. Intuition is subconscious. It registers in your subconscious and then it bleeds out into the conscious uh, awareness that you have. 
uh, intuition is informed. It is like tapping into a supercomputer super in the sky, intuition. And it's evaluative where you're analytical and you're scanning and you're, you catch on to certain aspects of what's going on. And also intuition involves many times wisdom because it taps into the truth of the moment. You acquire this ability to sense what are the best options in given situations. Like I use intuition to give advice to a lot of my patients who are very wealthy that need to make decisions in their business world. And I never thought I could do this, but then when I started giving them suggestions and the suggestions panned out and they did, they made money from it, they, they saw problems, they saw pitfalls, they avoided mistakes. And so you too, you have this ability. It's not like uh, it's just me. It, it, everybody has this apparatus inside of them. And so, uh, so one of the things you can tell about intuition is that people will say, uh, I sense this going on. I have a premonition. Uh, I keep asking myself, my gut feeling tells me this. Um, there's something that tells me that and then X, Y, Z. And you have this feeling that something may be right or wrong or there's something that you missed. And so th these are intuitive statements that we tell ourselves, okay? So how can you develop your intuition? So I'm gonna give you some brief pointers, okay? First of all, trust yourself because you've been taught to distrust this aspect of your life for so many years. I know I did. I focused in my earlier years on being, uh, taking advanced mathematics and being analytical, and that's all good and necessary. And I focus on being super, super uh, focused on aspects of logic, and that's important too. But there's a whole nother realm that transcends the left brain, which is logic oriented, and uh, where you, you sense things on the affective, your body sense that you catch it, then it goes to the left brain and the, brain, the left brain analyzes it critically to see if it stands the test of reason, okay? So learn to trust yourself, okay? Be relaxed, you need to be relaxed, okay? When you wanna tune in onto in, on intuition, try to differentiate between your external signals, what the environment is telling you, and your internal signals, okay? Both are important, but uh, that's another thing you need to focus on, okay? The other thing is describe and record your feelings. Like take note of what your feelings are, learn those patterns. Like some people that I've taught on how to be intuitive, uh, they tell me the way they record yeses and nos about situations. When they're asking themselves questions or asking questions about what to do, they feel it in on their chest. One side yes, one side no. I know my son, uh, my son feels it that way. I have a friend that feels the same thing, but on their back. Other people feel it in, in other neuromuscular areas. Uh, I certainly do. And it doesn't have to, all people don't have to register that way. You may, you may see things, you may sense things, you may, uh, any combination of the five sensorial gates uh, works, okay? And you just need to discover what works for you when you have an intuitive, sensorial experience in your life, okay? Prevent being biased, try to be neutral. If you have an opinion, surrender it. Surrender it and try to put yourself neutral. I don't care whether you believe your opinion is the only one in the world that's valid. Surrender it temporarily and then you, you posit your intuitive question and, and wonderment, if that could be a word, okay? And so notice the differences in those feelings. Notice them, okay? And, and keep a tab of that and learn from that. And then you'll start seeing, you'll have to have, start getting accuracy in your intuition. So use visualization. Visualization, a lot of times, is one of the fastest modes of your five sensorial gates, okay? Because visual information has so much information. It has uh, uh, location, luminosity, um, uh, colors, uh, just a lot of things action, motion, and so visualization is a very good uh, sense. Sometimes when I'm talking to some of my patients, I, uh, they tell me a story and I start to visualize. Then I start uh, asking questions. Is there a trauma here? Is there a trauma here? And I sometimes in my mind get a big yes, like a word yes, and sometimes I get no. And so I keep on moving forward and all of a sudden I hit a yes and let me tell you, like the majority of times, I'd say like 90% of the times, I'm right on target. 
And this is something that I didn't do it from one day to the other. I just learned to trust my intuition and I practiced a lot and I developed this ability. So I want to tell you, encourage you, please use your intuition. It will get you money raises at your work because you'll be incredibly bright, creative, novel, amazing at your job. If you're an artist, it will take your artistic uh, uh, creations to the next level. If you are a scientist and you do research, you will have insights that will take you where most of your colleagues are not and don't dare to try. And yet those are the places where great discoveries have been made in the past. And so if you are a parent, uh, you rely on your intuition. Mothers are some of the most intuitive creatures around. They sense when their child is in danger. They sense their child lying. They sense uh, about friends of their children. They're, they're, the mothers are incredible at this and mothers need to trust their intuition, okay? Um, uh, so there's, it's endless. It's endless, the applications of intuition. I've done research on intuition. I've looked at over 2,000 research journal articles on intuition with applications in business, decision-making, uh, love relationship, medical, law enforcement, um, spiritual, um, counseling, all types of ar arenas, even the music world, intuition, these, the, the, a lot of these musicians say it just comes to me and then they just start writing it down before they lose it. And so, and then next thing you know, you got like songs like from Paul McCartney, like yesterday that are just simply amazing. Okay. And that's, they say that's the, the biggest selling and most popular song of all time. And so you, uh, you see this in the artists also. Anyways, thank you for listening to me. I'm Dr. Sam. Please check out my website. I'll catch you next time. Dr. Sam counsels over the internet via Skype communications, in person at his private practice, and over the phone. To find out more about what it means to be a healthy person or for counseling, please contact Dr. Sam through his website at drsam.tv.